Hello everyone, it's Miss LaRose. This video is part two of the milk jug elephant video. It is for decorating the milk jug. Please see the cutting video for shaping the milk jug into an elephant. We're going to decorate using tissue paper. You are going to need your milk jug already cut out, a paintbrush for spreading your glue solution, and some kind of adhesive. Now I have Mod Podge, which I have mixed a little bit of water into. However, you can also use Elmer's School Glue or some other type of liquid glue. You're going to want to water it down a little bit so that it's very fluid, like watercolor paint. That mixture is going to get painted onto the side of your milk jug. Do not paint the whole thing at once. Start with a small area. I am doing the most difficult area first, and that is the area around the trunk and the trunk itself. So this first layer of glue or adhesive is going to allow me to stick on some pieces of tissue paper. And I want to use lots of different pieces and let them overlap. So I'm going to start sticking those on. As I stick them on, I'm going to need to make sure that it's covering all of my gluey surfaces and then to get them to stick down even better, I'm going to press them on with my fingers. For areas like the trunk that you need to wrap things around, wrap it around the sides and then to help it stay down all over, not just on the trunk, you're going to go back over with more glue on your brush and brush that tissue paper down in place. This can also work with other types of thinner paper. So if you have like construction paper or colored printer paper, you can really use any type of paper scraps for this. The thinner, the better. Every time I add a piece that is going to be wrapping around something, I make sure to press it down. And if I can tuck it around something, tucking it inside the trunk like this, for example, or folding it over the edge of the milk carton. That will help keep it secure. Always, always go over the top of things one more time with adhesive if it's not sticking down. That will help it stay down and it will help the layers connect to each other and make them stronger. Now for the areas where the milk jug curls or has a turn or a curve, then you're going to want to use a little bit extra adhesive so that that curvature doesn't keep it from sticking. The adhesive will make sure that it follows the natural curve of whatever surface is going on. So the tissue paper will just bend along with it. Tucking it really helps when it's towards the edge. If the color of the tissue paper is really thin, and it doesn't show up, maybe consider doing a double layer in that spot of the same color. It will make the color more intense, but keep switching back and forth between the brushing and sticking on paper. Just go back and forth over and over again. Now I'm coming up on making the tail. The tail piece is going to require that you make some little tufts of fur for the end. And to do this, you're going to take about three little squares like these and pinch them in a little roll and twist one end so that it looks kind of like this, almost like half of a candy wrapper. And you're going to do that with all three pieces. Those are going to then be glued to the end of the bent tail piece. You're going to want to cover the whole tail in glue and then wrap tissue paper around it, similar to how we did the trunk, but because it's flat, the paper is just going to fold over the edges. 
This layer of paper and glue is going to help create a base that will make it easier to stick on those little tuft pieces for the end of the tail. So I'm going to do the end of the tail using tissue paper with lots of glue on it. That's going to be important for making sure that those more 3D pieces stick on. And then I want to also make sure that I cover the top of the tail because once those tufts are on, I don't want to move it around very much. So the whole thing gets coated in paper first. So make sure you use lots of glue on the end to secure it. And you can see there's a little bit of extra glue on that teal piece that I put on the end of mine. Now I'm going to put glue directly on those little tufts at the end and stick those on and really press them on with my fingers, which is going to make them kind of gluey. You might need to wash your hands after that part just because it's gonna be really gluey. I'm going to fold this little piece of paper and wrap that piece around and secure it in place with more glue. You don't have to do a folded piece of paper. You could do just a couple layers. I'm doing this folded piece wrapped around because it's a little bit stronger than just one piece without folding it. The double layer really helps to make things secure and strong. So now I'm making sure that that sticks down with some more glue and if I need to bend my tail a little bit more so it sticks up, I can. I'm kind of wanting mine to sort of flow downwards. If you want yours to bend up, I would suggest holding it in place. After you finish the tail and the trunk, then you just want to cover the rest of the surface area of your elephant and let it dry before we do the final step. Now I'm going to be making the eyes and ears for the elephant. I'm going to just be using a piece of scratch paper. This paper I used for making a watercolor painting is just a piece that I kind of brushed a lot of colors onto. I'm making four ears, so I'm folding my paper in half twice. If you're only making two ears, just fold it in half once. I'm drawing a backwards C shape on the crease side where the fold is and I made a little extra room on the edge of the ear so that I can make a tab which I'm going to fold. So I cut these ear shapes out and since I did it on the crease they're going to be connected right now so I'm going to have to cut them in half because they're connected and then I'll have each individual ear then I fold the edge like that so then I can have a tab. That's where the glue is going to go so I can glue it onto the milk jug. And I have to do that for both sets because I have two elephants. If you only have one, you're only making one set. After I finish folding the tabs for both of my ears, I'm going to set those aside and then return to my scrap paper and use my scrap paper to make eyes. So for the eyes, I'm going to just make them using my folded paper. It will cut out four eyes because I have two elephants so they each need two eyes. 
if you only have one elephant, you only need two eyes, I need four. So I drew on my shape, it's an oval or a circle shape, and I'm going to cut it out and design the eyeball. So my elephant eyes are going to be one pair colorful, one pair white. It doesn't matter what your elephant eyes look like, you can design them however you want. You could even do closed eyes if you wanted to. I prefer doing the open eyes. I'm going to do two different designs. And since the one eye has the Sharpie marker around it, I wanted to make them match. So I put Sharpie marker around the second eye here. And then I drew on a space for my iris and colored in my pupil. Now this is one style. It's making the elephant look like it's looking up and over to the side a little bit. Think about what kind of expression or way you want your eyes to look. These eyes I'm going to put little highlights in so they kind of look cutesy. And then I'm just going to color in the pupil and that's going to be a different style of eyes. If you come up with your own style for this, go ahead, change it. You do not have to do the same as me. I would prefer you come up with your own idea if you can. You can also use other colors, other colors of marker, other colors of paper. That's all up to you. Now we're going to attach everything. Each eye needs two dots of glue. In each ear, you're going to put a strip of glue on that tab and stick it on. Now I did this one really fast. I will slow it down and show it to you a little bit slower as well. This one's done. Two eyes, two ears. For the eyes, one dot of glue is good enough on either side of the trunk like I showed you with the first one and I'm going to stick those on and then move on to my ears. For my ears we created that little tab on the side. I'm going to put a line of glue instead of dots. Usually I tell you to do dots but this time we're doing a line, just a single thin line of glue and that gets glued to the side next to the eyes so there's one ear on each side of the elephant's face. After those are secure, you're just going to let your elephants dry completely and then they will be finished. And you can give them names and put them on a shelf so that people who visit can see your cute little elephants. I hope you had fun with this. It was really fun for me to make.